Okay, dividing fractions. I hope that you will find dividing fractions just as easy as multiplying fractions because it's, that's exactly what it is. We don't divide fractions, we multiply fractions. We just have to change our problem a little bit. So, four-fifths divided by one-third. There's my problem, four-fifths divided by one-third. Okay, like I was saying, we don't divide. We change it into a multiplication problem. So, four-fifths is my starting point. We don't ever do anything to that first term. So, this problem is going to become four-fifths. I just rewrote it. We don't do anything to our first term. Division becomes multiplication. And then, we're going to flip this fraction around. It's not one-thirds anymore. It's going to be three over one. If I make this the opposite operation, I have to make this the opposite fraction. So now I have a multiplication problem. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5. Okay? So like I said, we don't divide. We change it to multiplication. And then we flip our second fraction. It was 1 third. Now it becomes 3 over 1. And then you just multiply. Just multiply straight across. My, my answer is 12 fifths, which is an improper fraction. We can't leave it that way. We do have to simplify. 12 divided by 5. It will go in there two times even. So let's see. 12 divided by 5. This is how we change it back into our mixed number. 5 will go into 12. 2 times. Subtract 10. My remainder is 2. So here's my final answer. 2 and 2 fifths. Your remainder becomes your numerator. 2 and 2 this, and there is your final answer. You got lots of practice on changing this in elementary school, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it. Okay, next example. 5 divided by 1 half. Okay, 5 divided by 1 half. Well, that's a whole number, and we want to divide that by a fraction. Well, you can't do that. You can't have a whole number and divide it by a fraction. We have to do the same thing that we did when we multiplied fractions. We have to turn that 5 into a fraction. Okay? To, if you ever have a whole number and you need to make it a fraction, you just put it over 1. 5 over 1. Because 5 divided by 1 is 5. We haven't changed the value. We've just placed it over 1 to make it a fraction. Division becomes multiplication. And then I flip my fraction around. 1 half becomes 2 over 1. 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 1 is 1. 10 divided by 1, well, it comes out nice and even to be 10. All right, one more example. I've got 3 and a half divided by 1 and 3 fifths. I've got two mixed numbers. So this problem is actually going to involve a lot of steps. We have to make both of these fractions. We have to make them both improper numbers. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1. So this becomes 7 halves divided by, I'm just rewriting, 1 and 3 fifths becomes 5, 6, 8 fifths. Okay? So that's all I did was I took my two mixed numbers and I changed them to improper fractions. That's it. Now it's still a division problem. I need to change it to a multiplication problem. I don't do anything to my first number. It is still 7 halves. Change the division to multiplication. And my 8 fifths becomes 5 eighths. Okay, now I've got, my, I've got my mixed numbers into fractions and I've got my division into multiplication. So 7 times 5 is 35. 2 times 8 is 16. So that is an improper fraction. I need to go back and change that to a whole number, or sorry, a mixed number. 35 divided by 16. 35 can be divided by 16 two times. Subtract 32. And my remainder is 3. So my answer is going to be 2 and 3 sixteenths. 2, my remainder becomes my, whole, my numerator, 3 sixteenths. 2 and 3 sixteenths. And that is my final answer. There we go, dividing fractions.